Hello and welcome back to It's What I Do. My first video after the Christmas period. Um, hope you all had a great Christmas and a really good New Year. I had uh, quite a good one. I had family down between uh, Christmas and New Year. Um, so that was good. I uh, haven't seen them for quite a long time. So yeah, they came down and stayed for a few days. Um, Work-wise, same as always, um, long hours, little time to do anything else. Uh, um, give you a quick look at the fish. Um, bear with me, turn you around. They're just having their daily feed. I'm only feeding once a day, um, but they do get a good feed, that once a day. Oh, weather's been absolutely freezing here. We've had uh, regular temperatures down below zero overnight. Uh, at the moment, let's just show you. We're at, we're at 5.5, I think it is. Let me just show you. I don't know. Can you see that? Let me just spin that round and have a look. One second. I don't know how well that will come out. Um, we've got one of those indoor, outdoor, remote sensor things. Um, so it shows it indoors, what the temperature is. Yeah, and what's, what's making it worse today um, is there's a wind and oh, it's icy, really is icy. So I won't be out here for too long. Uh, I've noticed I'm gonna have to lift the uh, covers on the pond very soon and uh, give it a, a vacuum there's quite a bit of debris getting on the bottom of the pond so that's a job to do uh, um, finally managed to get the embroidery machine fixed so i've got a bit more embroidery stuff to do um, what else not much else is happening really um, i haven't had time to do much with the new camera I have had a little play, and I've actually had a play with the gimbal as well. So, um, hopefully when I get a bit more time, I'll do a little review on that um, and show you what's going on. I'm going to launch the competition very soon for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We're over, last time I looked it was 907 I think it was. Uh, subscribers so I've still got a little bit to go but um, the way I'm going to do this we need to get a few videos in um, beforehand um, you'll get the idea once I actually start doing them <clears throat> so yeah that's what's happening um, I'm gonna go indoors and uh, might show you a little bit of doing the embroidery um, We'll see. I know I've, I've got to explain the problems I'm having with the hoops and whatnot. Um, which you might find interesting, you might not. But we'll see. Okay, see you in a minute. There you go, this is the inside part of that um, indoor-outdoor temperature thing. So on this side here, this is the indoor temperature. So at the moment indoors it's 19.6. And this is the outdoor temperature which is 5.3 uh, yeah it works quite well um, makes it easy to keep an eye on the temperature outside so yeah okay so I'm sitting in the living room in a minute um, I'm gonna put you on the headband in a moment because I want to show you these uh, these problems I'm having with the embroidery hoops um, you might hear the birds in the background, apologise for that, not much I can do about it. They do like to join in, so you, you might hear the parrots and whatnot. So, let me get you on the headband and I'll show you the issue that I've had. started to do this and then the uh, the app on the phone decided it wanted to update, so it took me a little bit longer. Right, this is an embroidery hoop and this is the one that I've been using. And I'll, I'll show you the issue that I've got with it. Now, embroidery hoop comes in two parts, yeah, and 
and you've all seen the cushions that I've embroidered and this is how I've had to do it now you'd put a, a backing um, stabiliser on there um, and then you have to put it inside the cushion and then carefully try and manoeuvre it round so that it's in the right position I won't worry too much about the, the uh, actual position of this because you'll get the idea okay so that's roughly in position like so say it again like so um it really ought to be my catchphrase right and, and what i would normally do is measure the, the the distance top and bottom to make sure there was even to get it in the center you then have the other part of the hoop and you have to put that into the uh, bottom part like so and frame it in oh, that's a bit tight I've changed the, uh, the actual uh, cushion case because that other one was just too tight I couldn't get the hoops going so it's in there now that's how it fits together and then this actually clips onto the machine so these arms have got to be on the outside of the cushion the cushion case now the problem I got with this one because it is so big it's right on the limit when it's actually on the machine I don't know how easy it is for you to see that but you've got a lot of tension on there on the underside of it well you've got an arm on the machine that has to go in there like that and then the machine sort of runs backwards and forwards across it now the problem I had was well while you're actually doing it it comes forward like that and then jams underneath there and it would jam the machine and causes it to uh, jump out of place and do all sorts of nasty things so the only way I had of getting around it was uh, to actually sit with it the entire time it was um, stitching out the patterns and hold this piece and sort of guide it across the uh, machine and that meant I was sitting there for like two and a half hours while it was, was stitched out so what did I do I bought another hoop now this one is a 200 by 200 hoop and you can see it's quite a bit smaller in size to the uh, the other one which would give you more give underneath the problem is for some unknown reason um, brother who, who is the make of the machine only do this hoop with the arms on the outside part of the hoop instead of the inside part of the hoop like all the other frames now you've got the holes there to, to move them in but if, as soon as you move them in the machine then registers the hoop as being a smaller hoop and you can't fit the full size in there so i thought okay i'll get onto them and see whether i can get some new arms now i contacted the supplier that i bought this from sent them an email and got absolutely no response whatsoever none so i left it a little while and i contacted brother direct and asked them the question told them what the problem was and asked them whether they could supply these arms um slightly longer so that they fit onto the inside of the hoop without making the machine register it as a smaller hoop and it took a little bit of time um, but they did get back to me um, had a conversation with a guy um, from brother itself he confirmed what i wanted and then went off and asked the powers that be um, whether they do them and brother don't actually make them which is really 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 weird um, 
they make a hoop with holes on the outer ring and the inner ring but they don't make the arms to fit them so now I've got an issue I'm gonna to have to make these things um, myself I'm gonna to have to make some and what I've got to do is extend these arms by about 15 millimeter so that the distance between the center of that hole there and the center of that hole is 15 millimeters so if I extend this by 15 millimeters it will give me a, arms that I can fit to the inside and still register the right size on the machine so I've got to make them which is a bit of a pain I can do it um, but I've got to get the the metal to do it um, I did buy some bought some stainless steel plates but I think they're a little bit too small they're about five millimeter too small so I'm gonna to have to get something else and do them so that's where we are with those there's a real pain in the butt because this hoop cost me 133 quid which is a ridiculous price but hey ho so yeah that's the issue I've had with the uh, the hoops I've got some other ideas that I want to try um, try doing some different sort of merchandise for people um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes I did actually get Marrick's small patch completed because that was the one I was doing when it um, the machine broke I've got that completed and I've posted that off to him hopefully he's got it by now but I haven't heard from him so don't know for sure so yeah that's one of the issues I've got with the machine it's a real pain in the butt I can do it I can do do it with the big hoops um, but it's not easy not easy at all sorry about the noise in the background that's the uh, the magpie having a little growl uh, you've seen my one my cushion um, really pleased with that that came out really really well so yeah that's where we are Right, I'm not going to film much more on this video, otherwise it's going to get too long. Um, I, I will say, I just watched the uh, video from Derby Coy, where he went to visit Vince from Twisted Coy. Um, really enjoyed that video, it was really good. Um, very jealous, one of these days I shall manage to get out and do some pond visits. And I'd love to go down and visit Vince. Um, and I will find the time to do that at some point. Um, Big, big, big well done to Vince for reaching his 1,000 subscribers. Um, really pleased for you, mate. You deserve it. So, um, hopefully I'll get there one day. <laughs> you never know. Um, that's going to be about it. So, I will uh, catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.